Hi everybody, welcome to your weekend reading for November 15th, I want to say. No, 16th. 16th to the 17th of 2019. If I got the dates wrong, I'm sorry guys, it's been a long week and a long day. But I felt spirit nudging me to get this reading out for the weekend as I feel a lot of your energies coming through. So, let's get to it. The Magician with the Two of Swords. Okay, so some of you are dealing with someone um, who wants to come forward and manifest something with you, but they're not sure. We got the Magician, Two of Swords. Okay, somebody here I feel is trying to figure out, because the Two of Swords speaks of uncertainty, uncertainty. about whether or not they want to offer something for some of you who are dealing with uh, love and relationships. For others, it's about career on whether or not you're going to take the offer. But I do feel like an offer is somewhat on the table because I see this rose here and the rose does represent an offer. But it's being blocked by something. I'm not sure what it is in this deck, but... Two of Swords, I'm telling you guys, there's someone who is like, not sure whether or not they want to take this offer, but I feel like they are trying to figure out within themselves because the magician here is, tr you know, is someone who has the inner resources, the inner, the skills, basically, has learned skills over time. Uh, so when it comes to someone in love or someone in a relationship, it's like, what approach should I take with this person? How to approach this person? What skill set, what ability should I be tapping into to get this person to accept my offer? What other messages does my collective need to know, Spirit, for the weekend ahead? Mm -hmm. King of Coins. You might be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn. The King of Coins speaks of someone who wants to commit. He speaks of stability. It could be an employer, someone who wants to offer you something stable. Someone that may or may not have blue eyes here. Mustache. Somebody that wants to offer you something, guys. Something consistent, something stable, something tangible might come to you and say, well, I can offer you um, a stable life. And they might try to use that as a tactic. The magician, you know, has tactics. Luckily, he didn't come out in reverse, so maybe he's not so manipulative. But we'll see in the rest of the cards. King of Coins, again, employer, someone who has money. Money, honey. King of Coins sitting on money here, whether that's through business or just plain old work. Someone who's self-made, someone who worked hard to get there with a magician, he worked hard. But he wants or she wants to approach with an offer. <laughs> might, might, <laughs> They're pointing out something here to me. So here, you know the way that he's presenting this coin, this pentacle? It's like, might put it in your face. Well, I have this to offer you. What do you think? Okay. Yeah. Lovers. You might have to make a decision. Maybe this is coming from a Gemini. Maybe you're the Gemini. But the lover speaks of decisions. This is decisions in love. Decisions in career. For many of you, this is in love. Mm-hmm. I feel like for the masculines that want to offer this to the feminines, they're being guided, they're, they're being forced, they're being pushed, they're being influenced by a spirit, spirit guide. You see, we have an angel here, Cupid. Okay, so the spirit of Cupid, a spirit guide that is kind of um, orchestrating this, forcing the male I do feel like the arrow is pointing towards the male, the, the, the male energy, masculine energy, as you can see here. 
this is a very beautiful card, but I feel like, yeah, there is this strong dominant energy here coming through. Knight of Coins. It might take time to come in, though, because, again, we got that Two of Swords, so I'm going to show it to you. Knight of Coins speaks of slow, methodical, slow progress, slow movement, slow moving. From a, maybe a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, like I said, but it could be from anybody with this type of energy. And that's why it's taking them time because they're not sure on whether or not you're going to accept. Because the decision, the lovers, falls in your hands. We got a match with the Queen of Coins. Someone sees you as the Queen of Coins. Yeah. Someone sees you as a perfect match for them. You see here, we got the queen of coins. Yeah, but we're, they might even say that to you. Yeah, but we're a good match. You know, we make a good team. Do we? Do you? Uh-huh. Some of you might deal with mother, mother issues here, a mother. Hmm. What other messages do you want my collective to know i feel like it's taking this person uh, what's the four of wands hmm the four of wands yeah <laughs> closing out a cycle here somebody wants stability guys four of wands speaks of stability foundations commitment you see the way all these wands are placed with the diamond ring or the diamond, you know, speaks of commitment, engagements, moving in together. Or when it's a job, it's like offering you stability. Okay, I can finally feel like I'm stable in my career, in my finances. I'm being offered something solid. There's a lot of solid energy here that's coming through with the world. Some of you may be dealing with people from a distance, maybe from uh, online. The world is communication online. Um, people that live far away from us. Okay. The world wide web, people. Take it as it resonates. Someone might be really far from you, but still wants to offer you everything. Hmm. We got the five of cups at the bottom of the deck here which speaks of regret competition someone might be really really regretful about something this is past disappointments and then i got the five of wands again at the bottom of the deck so five fives this is a lot of change here but someone is still holding on to past events with that five of cups you know maybe staying you know really living in their grief and their regret and their disappointments It's struggling. I feel like this person's struggling. Five of Wands is struggle. Some of them might be disappointed that there's competition here. Because I do see a Knave of Cups coming in. This might be someone different. Knave of Cups. You might There might be competition. You might have two job offers from two different people, two different employers. Let's get one more. And then I'm going to pull out uh, some cards from my deck. I didn't finish it, but I did smudge it. I cleansed it and I did give myself a reading. <laughs> so I think it's ready to be worked on. But I mean, let's let's try it out. Let's see what happens. The Ace of Coins. You see how it flew out here? So you're, you, you can't see it from, from where you're seeing it. Ace of Coins flew out like this. So it didn't fall, fl fly out like straight or like this it's not like this right here on the queen of coins so is this queen of coins going to accept the offer of this ace of coins again we got a lot of coins guys you have an offer coming in or an offer has come in or is about to come in mm, but it's not sure probably because you're not sure the queen of coins the queen of pentacles the person you're dealing with if you're a male or female is not sure is just is it gonna come in 
or is it not? Let's get some of my cards. Okay, so this is really focused on, I would say, romance situations, but hey, take it as it resonates, right? I haven't yet named my deck. It's pretty much in its draft, in its draft, you know, versions. Um, I'm still thinking. I still, I still have a lot of cards uh, to think about, but these are the first ones that I've drafted i have other ones that are coming up let's see what comes up for you this weekend Ooh, in the next few weeks because the timing is not right so for a lot of you you're wondering what's going on is this going to come in or should i offer something a lot of you are, are the ones making the offer or about to make the offer the timing is not right as you can see there but in the next few weeks two to four weeks something's coming in i knew that the knight of pentacles speaks of something that's coming in slowly not right away let's get whatever wants to come out from my collective who's watching surprisingly there's Easier to shuffle than I thought, but this is just a, a draft version, as I said. It's not the actual paper that I'm going to be using. What else wants to come up? That's it? Nothing else, Spirit? My collective? Ooh! The Divine Feminine with work on your partnership. Okay, so I'm getting two stories here. So you see, it fell on the... It's funny. Divine Feminine fell on the Queen of Coins. So, yep, we're talking about Divine Feminine here, guys. So maybe this might be you. Um, The Divine Feminine. Work on your partnership. So someone here wants to work on your partnership, Divine Feminine. Someone here, and this is what I'm feeling, this king of coins wants to work on the relationship. But the timing is not right as to when it's going to come through, when this offer is going to come through. A decision will have to be made, but the timing is not right. It feels off. Mercury is in retrograde, guys. I mean, people can come back. People can come back from our past. But from what I'm seeing here this weekend, the timing is not right. Let's see if we get another one. Healing is required in two to four months. Okay, so the person maybe that you're inquiring about, I'm sorry, I shook the camera on here. Healing is required. So in the next two to four months, once healing is required on both ends, I'm feeling both ends. Maybe one of you is more advanced in your inner work in your healing journey than the other but i feel like in two to four months things will get out of this five of cups sadness energy yeah healing is required so this is why it's taking longer for one of yous okay because someone has not taken the Taking the time to heal. And someone wants to control you. Bottom of the deck, guys. Someone wants to control you. Wonderful. Let's get one little oracle card. The lover's oracle card. Let's see what comes in. Healing. Can't make this shit up. And look, this is my card. My DIY card, guys. You can't make this shit up. Spirit here absolutely wants to let y'all know. Healing is required. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Oops, sorry. I just smashed my box. Beloved, feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So someone needs to heal or someone is at the point of realizing that they need to work on something. They have to work on their issues. So with that being said, I hope this reading helps some of you. And if you would like your own personal reading, please do contact me through my uh, website or through my email. Everything will be in the description box below. Have a great weekend, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.